Let's trace the acid flow. First, we can see that source length is used to determine destination size by performing a multiplication. And then next, we can see that the destination size will then be used for an allocation. We can also observe that there is a potential for some integer overflow on the flow to take place here. So destination size has the potential to be incorrect, which will yield an overcopy, given that we're using source length as the bound for the for loop instead of destination size. So the animation illustrates that some part of the output buffer will be corrupted with attacker controlled impute data and some parts is fixed. So basically the fixed part, that's the zero to F, that's the blues and the content of the source buffer, the additional content of the source buffer will be attacker controlled data. What was the fix? Well, we don't have the sources, so it's unclear to us.